So the representative of a company called YHE Techs kindly approached me and made an offer that I cannot refuse, which is to review their smartwatch called YHE BP Doctor Pro. Please note it's a pro version people by the way. So as you can see this is a rather compact size of a blood pressure reading device but it could be bothersome to carry around with you all the time. So imagine having a smartwatch that looks cool but also can read your blood pressure reading as well. Now I've been owning a Tag Heuer connected smartwatch as you have seen from my previous video for nearly three years and I love the design every time I look at it but if there is a smartwatch that could also read my blood pressure at the same time I am kind of willing to give up on this Tag Heuer uh, smartwatch. So enough said, let's do the unboxing and check the accuracy against my existing blood pressure reading device. So here it goes. Wow, what's this? It's a thank you note for your support from YHE. Dear LJB Tech, we're so thrilled to have you as our brand influencer. Thank you for collaborating with us and giving us the opportunity to offer you one of our company's exceptional product. Thank you very much. So it says on the other side, guess which part it is for your smartwatch. Well, I, I have no idea, but I have to make my best guess saying that this is for measuring your blood pressure, isn't it? Okay, the remaining main box. So it's a very minimalistic box with just a single symbol. So the moment of truth. Whoa, look at that. So let's take it out. <laughs> nice finish. It's a good weight. So these are the quick instruction manual. We got a nice USB charging cable. We got the actual charging dock. That's just the quick instruction on how to adjust the size. Pull it out where you can read the pulse, which is here. And it's basically telling me number seven. Before we get into the software side of it, look at that. That is really lovely quality. That shiny sort of stainless steel surrounding the main screen. And then this um, rubbery bit, I presume, is for the bit that inflates to measure your blood pressure. On the back side of the actual watch itself, there's the sensor and the charging uh, conduit joint here. And um, really nice quality and good weight. So when you hold this, it doesn't feel cheap. You know it's a premium brand. So literally plug in for charging and it was 94% to start with. That's amazing. So it was in a package and all the way through for delivery and several weeks for several months and so on, it remained as 94%. So that's a very good sign of a good battery life. So well done for that. So for the actual strap itself, I have managed to put it onto seven, as you can see here, and it's a nice secure feel. And the, the actual app itself is asking me what gender I am. I am a male and my height is about 174 centimeters and my weight is about 82 kilograms. Let's make it 82.9 and it's asking whether it's accurate. Yes, it is. So the overall view of the app itself, first impression, we got the BP, which is for the blood pressure reading, uh, the SpO2, and then the heart rate, um, HRV, and then this is the sleep, calories, workout, sleeps, and weight as well. So it's pointing out in red text saying that I'm overweight. And yes, I know I am overweight. And the next one is the um, schedule, alarm, and so on. And lastly, it's the actual settings that you could customize. My watch, my goal, family, blood pressure, cat um, categories, unit, account settings, and etc. So as you can see, I have already changed my watch face to chronograph, which looks pretty cool. Um, so the way how you do this is through your app. First one, which is my dial. So if you click on that, you get various watch faces, which is pretty cool. So this is from the store 
and that's what you have as a default or something that you have downloaded. So on the profile page from the app, there's a section called My Family. So if you were to click on that, there are three dots on the right hand side top. If you click on that as well, you'll see that there's an option of adding family member or message them. I just thought it's really worth mentioning this because you can follow, monitor the progress made by your family members, close friends, or you can add your followers those people who are close enough to you so you're happy to give out your personal health records to them and so on. So this is a very family-friendly, health-driven device, isn't it? On the actual smartwatch itself, if you were to click on this, this is the main watch face. So if I were to scroll left hand side, these are the summary of the health record. And this is the um, blood pressure reading. Um, heart rate, SpO2, so on. So that's a very quick summary of it. A very simple layout, yet very effective. So according to the quick instruction here, you're supposed to lean your hand against this box or something similar so that the height of your smartwatch is similar to your actual heart. Okay, so let's get on with it. So if I were to press the actual button and press start it will send me a sign saying to relax i can feel the inflation going on cool so you can see that my reading is 117 to 83 and the um, bpm is 102 so let's check that against my actual blood pressure reading device, shall we? All right, so I got 123 and 92. It's slightly different, but um, I would say that's pretty accurate reflecting on my current blood pressure. So well done. Okay, so if you were to turn on the blood pressure checking, it inflates. You can see the strap is being inflated and then it's actually checking the pulse here, okay? So that's quite cool. So you don't really feel like it's really tightening up, but quite pleasant actually. And after the whole measurement, it, you can actually hear a tiny hiss sound, quite cute hiss sound going sss. And then that's how it actually measures your blood pressure. That is really cool, isn't it? So not only can you actually um, go through the recent records and the readings of your blood pressure from your smartwatch, you can actually check it from your app as well. So if you click on that, that basically shows you on a daily uh, record, uh, that's pretty high, so it's on stage two, and it actually shows each reading, whereabout it stands on the recommended uh, chart, uh, national chart, should we say. <laughs> and um, those are the records uh, that I made. The readings that I made so far. So you can actually keep that on a daily record, weekly record, or yearly record, which is very important so that uh, you can present this to your doctor or whoever needs this record, okay? Yeah, I just love the design, the sleekness of it, and also the quality of it, good weight, and also the software itself is just get on with your health check and so on, it's in your face, and I love it, it's very easy to use and etc. But one thing came as a surprise, which is that it seems the only way you can measure your blood pressure by using this YHEBP Doctor Pro is you need to lean your elbow against your table and then uh, you lean your hand against the box, similar height as this. And then when you relax, the pulse sort of pushes in, curves in against the inflated strap. That seems to be the only case when it can accurately measure your blood pressure. Now this is all fine and also the reading itself is very similar to the reading I get from the um, blood pressure reader that I have already. But the situation is what if I'm actually in a different scenario? How can I measure it? And it would be quite nice to know if there's a other different way to measure my blood pressure other than just doing this all the time. But then again, this is a very common position that you could a stay. All you need is just a nice table and a chair and a similar height. This is about eight to nine centimeters height box. So you can always get something around you similar to this height 
and then read it and so on. So I hope this video helped you understand what this uh, blood pressure checking smartwatch is. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.